A new cloud server is added for every 600 smartphones or 120 tablets in use, which is one now. And now, and now, and yeah. So this week on the show, insurance claims assessment are reducing from months to minutes with Azure AI, Windows Virtual Desktop and Teams now playing nice together, and July brought another eight new Azure recommendations for threat protection. You've tuned in to Azure This Week, a show edited, filmed, hosted, and published by AI processes running on Windows Virtual Desktop. Assessing an entitlement to a superannuation disability insurance claim is something that can take months, and all that time the client is waiting for the insurance payout. Microsoft partner Arinko has used Azure Cognitive Services and AI to develop a system that takes that process from months to minutes. A combination of the Azure Forms Recognizer and Cognitive Services processes hundreds of pages of legal jargon Mm, yeah, then extracts key phrases and then surfaces that information to a lawyer that can assess the final part. Cloud, data and AI is a combination that almost every industry sector can really use to improve. Read the entire story via the link in the description. This week, Windows Virtual Desktop integration with Microsoft Teams became generally available. This includes an easier deployment and management process, as well as a new audio and video integration with Teams. You can provide fine-grade access to Windows Virtual Desktop resources using role-based access control. We Publish remote apps and desktops to AAD groups instead of individual users and troubleshoot issues faster with Azure Monitor. Remote Desktop Client for Android now also support Windows Virtual Desktop Connections. If you want to know more about WVD, as the cool kids call it, check out the very first episode of Azure Service Spotlight, where ACG training architect Sean Johnson goes into depth with the service. Every month, Azure Security Center gives a recap of the security improvements. In July, eight new recommendations were provided on how to enable threat protection features. They provide a simple way to enable Azure Security Center's threat protection features for the following resource types. Virtual machines, app service plans, Azure SQL database servers, SQL servers on machines, Azure storage accounts, Azure Kubernetes services clusters, Azure Container Registry registries, and Azure Key Vault vaults. So be like Azure, be more secure. No more from me this week. Next week, we have some pretty cool special announcements, so stay tuned for that. So see you next week, and keep staying calm, pluggers.